So some people really resemble their art and some people do not. And I'm not sure how to word this video in a way that's not gonna be like complainy or I guess somewhat whiny, but I have like artistic aversions. Like I had a, I went through like it might be an autistic thing. I say that so much. I feel like a lot of people with autism say that. Like, I don't know what to attribute this to. Or, if, like, because I don't know. I've never spoken to anybody else about it. Uh, tell me if I'm wrong or right, I guess. But I have, like, an aversion to, like, bodies and human art. Which I've discovered via, like, social media. Which I guess I should talk about something I want to talk about since I got to this point. I don't follow other artists on instagram on my art account anymore at least i think i do still follow like some illustrators on my personal account but even then i don't i don't know it's weird through like a lot of other artists i've learned a lot about my own art style and what it is that i like about art and i like that it, my art and like art that is like otherworldly that you can't place to like a time or an era I guess that's the same thing, a time and an era, what the fuck, that you can't, like, place, like, you can't be like, oh, I mean, I've been told that my art is futuristic, and I've also had people tell me that my art has, like, horror elements, like, I had someone tell me that, like, my art reminded them of, like, Hellraiser, or the artist who did Hellraiser, or something like that, I can't quite remember, and I didn't really mind that, but I guess other people sort of assign something to it, but I don't think of my art as, like, belonging to a certain time or a certain era, like, I'd like to think it's timeless, that sounds... I guess pretentious but I don't know I don't like to tie it to anything other than like where my mind was at that point in time and like what colors I was thinking of so in a way I guess my art doesn't really have a solid meaning it changes and grows with me and what it means changes and grows with me because I can look back at art that I made a couple years ago and be like wow I was in such a different place mentally and I can look at art that I made yesterday or a painting I finished today and be like wow like, I have no idea what to, what this means or what to take away from it. And I think that's what's really cool about, I guess, the type of art that I do, which is abstract expressionism. Which, when I first started calling my art that, it's because I felt like I had to call it something to, I guess, sort of make it digestible for social media. But I've learned not to make art for an audience other than myself, which I think other people... Like, illustrators, I don't know, I keep going back to illustrators, <laughs> but, like, via illustrators I learned, especially, what I didn't like about art, and, like, certain types of art, and I feel like there was, like, a lot of, like, sexualization, and, like, within, like, character, character development, which I feel is necessary for, clearly, characters to, like, people to be, like them, and, like, drawn to them, and identify with them, but for me, it was, like, I don't know, I don't like politics within art in a way. Like, I with if you draw like oh what you deem a chubby character, someone else will be like oh that's the person who's thick, and it just it makes the art different. I don't want I don't want this to be a thing that's sexualized. You know, I want this to be like a just like a pure emotive spiritual type of thing. I guess. Like so, I I avoid clothing. Like any super strong like, sexual connotation, I guess, and I've done some, I've accidentally named some paintings in ways that I look back on, and I'm like, somebody probably thinks this is very sexual, like, I worry about that, like, with the painting Visceral, and I have another painting called Burning Cherries, which I didn't want to appropriate, I wanted to use, I think it was originally, I called it, like, Burning Sakura, or Sakura Burning, but I'm like, oh, I didn't want to be appropriative, because I'm not Japanese, so I was like, oh, we'll call it Burning Cherries, because a cherry blossom is a, a Sakura, you know, like, I thought that correlation would I don't know, it was something I thought of, but I'm like, somebody else probably doesn't think that, and people like to associate cherries with, like, sex, and I'm just like, wow, did I ruin this? The way this is going to be digested by somebody else who, without, like, any context, finds this? Maybe I did. And, like, with Visceral, Visceral is not sexual. Visceral epitomizes, like, I told my therapist this, and I don't think that she got it, so I kind of regretted saying it. Ugh. But it was like, I kind of, when I'm around people for long periods of time, I get like that Harry Potter Dementor feeling where it's like they're kind of like sucking your face off and it's like oh I'm just so drained I feel so gross and that's what Visceral was basically supposed to say that it's like I don't know 
I don't know how to like relate and interact with people in a way like consciously on a conscious level that I think is like healthy or like good for me like it's like I'm like a whole time I'm like am I doing this right is this a good idea is this something I should be doing should I even be talking to you this is gonna end well it's that hyper vigilance of generalized anxiety and like I guess well panic disorder isn't isn't always aware like self-awareness but general anxiety is like hyper self-aware hyper critical um but like I'm, I can be at times social media made me like super self-conscious of my art style because like I don't make happy art which I don't think it's not a new thing because like I said in another video like I researched singers who kind of did like introversion musically within like their lyrics in ways that are like super exposing and like vulnerable but I'm really drawn to that like I like that sort of like stripped back naked sound that that you can find within niche singers I guess that somehow like made it through like for the singer Gallant I feel like he talked about in interviews like people really discouraged him because his music wasn't like upbeat and like happy and sunny so I don't know I like to think of those people because it make me feel better about myself but like for me it's like should I be making dark abstract surrealist paintings is this digestible and consumable for everybody and I'm like do I want my stuff to be for everybody or do I want my stuff to be for me so I think staying loyal to my aversions is really good because I'm like, oh, you know, I don't want my art to be spoiled by, like, somebody sexualizing it. Like, I don't want my art to be valued for, like, fuckability or, like, cute quality. I want somebody to see it and be like, oh, like, this moved me. Not in those ways, but in, like, a, I, I guess, like, a mystical or, like, a, a kind of, like, an occult way. That it's like, wow, this really... This, this is, like, engaging me on, like, a different level. Does this sound right? Is this offensive? I don't know. And in a way, I think my art really does represent me very well. Like, because I'm, like, when I paint a lot, I think of, like, tendons and muscles and tension, oddly. When I do think of, like, human anatomy, I don't think of, like, the surface I always think like it's like I do like a CSI Miami like you know like oh the bullet went through here it's like that like I'm traveling through a body and I'm thinking of various things like I'm like oh this is like an artery this is like a muscle this is the tension this is the like convulsing type of thing I don't know why I go to such gory things in my head I guess but that's where I go when I do think about human things like it's like wow like I don't know I'm very analytical and very critical of myself so it's like can I have to make things that I'm proud of and to me it's like this is sort of what I'm proud of and also what I'm thinking at the time I have mercury and Scorpio so my mind is all over the place and also my mercury and Scorpio I believe is in uh, 11th house which is Pluto which is an interesting energy within itself if I'm digging my nail check correctly so I'm like whatever comes to mind it couldn't be like all over the place it's Scorpio's wild card I feel like I also have Midheaven Scorpio which is if you don't know anything about astrology this is portentous information and I've gone quite a bit off topic did I summarize the point of this video take away from it what you will if you liked it, feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, or don't, whatever you want to do.